Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will show you how to show or hide files or um, actually how to view hidden files in your Windows 8 computer. Now one of the uh, often used way to hide system files or um, even in some cases lots of uh, viruses will actually uh, hide themselves in the uh, hidden folders of your computer. So you might want to see what's in these folders and see the folders that are usually hidden from your eyes by the default uh, Microsoft Windows settings. So there's a way to actually view hidden files. Uh, so basically we'll show you how to turn it on or off. The uh, easiest way is when you're on your start screen, go into the charms bar on the right side of your screen by swiping or going to the corners if you're not uh, swiping, if you are, uh, have a non-touch device. And click the little search. And there you will start typing hidden, H-I-D-D-E-N. And go into settings, you'll see that one of the options on the uh, settings right here is show hidden files and folders. So you'll click there and it brings you to that little panel for the folder options. So one of the things that you might want to do is actually show hidden files or folders. So if you look in the little panel here, there's a dot and it's usually in don't show hidden files or folders or drives. What you'll do is simply put that little dot next to show hidden files and folders and click apply. Immediately, all the hidden files and folders that you shouldn't see on your computer are now visible. And how do you see that? Well, for example, if we go into a uh, computer, you'll notice that some folders are now uh, shown, but they're uh, like semi-transparent. They're not as visible as the others. Uh, they're kind of dimmed out. Like here, for example, program data, you can see that the folder here is dimmer than the other ones. Uh, same thing for uh, MSO cache here, for example. So these are the hidden folders, for example. And the same thing will apply to files. Hidden files will have a uh, dimmed out look compared to the regular files and folders of your computer. So now you can browse through all the settings and all the different folders that were not visible before. And so here we'll give you an example look at program data that's right under program files. Now let's put it back to what it was before that's don't show hidden files or folders. I'll put the dot back and click apply and if you go here we look again you'll see that under program files program data is now invisible. It's not there anymore. You can't go to that folder. So uh, that's why you need to put uh, you need to show the hidden folders or files sometimes. Um, maybe you've seen a uh, video that explains how to change a setting in Windows or a setting or to uh, copy some program file that you might need in a hidden folder. Uh, so that's how you do it. So um, simply go to the charms bar, click the search, type hidden, click settings, and just click show hidden files and folders. You put a dot in show hidden files in folders when you want to see them and you just go back and put the dot to don't show hidden files or folders when you are over um, and done with whatever you wanted to do. Some people like to have the hidden files and folders all the time visible. Uh, it's not my case. In my case I rather have uh, only them visible when I need them not all of the time because it can uh, really become a little um, difficult to uh, go on. Uh, some folders have so many hidden files and sometimes for example when you um, uh, an example you're typing a Word document when your Word program is open often um, there's a invisible Word file that appears next to the regular file so uh, that's a way of word of uh, actually having this little um, um, temporary file of your document, for example. So 
uh, when you keep the uh, hidden files or folders on all the time, it can get a little uh, difficult to go through the different folders. And it depends on the folders. Some folders are not affected much, but there are some folders where you'll see a lot of um, files and folders that are kind of dimmed out. And it can make a folder two times, three times, four times bigger just because there's so much more files to view. So uh, basically what I do is I turn the uh, hidden files and folders when I need to access a uh, hidden file. But once um, I did whatever I wanted to do, I just go back and put it to uh, don't show hidden files or folders so that everything comes back to normal. So I uh, hope you uh, enjoy these videos and that they help you use your Windows 8 machine more and more. If uh, you do, please uh, let us know and subscribe to our channel and uh, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, um, let us know. Uh, maybe you have a um, feature of Windows 8 or a question of uh, that we can actually make a video of. So um, that is something that uh, you can, of course, ask us and we'll try to do that video for you. And uh, you'll be helping others at the same time. And if you have that new Windows 8 machine or planning to buy one, we'll take a look at our, all our videos we have online. Uh, more than a few hundred videos now where uh, you will learn how to do basically pretty much anything you want in Windows 8. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.